Guess what? Another question. This time the question is, how do you find good content ideas? And how do you find a lot of content ideas? So the way that I do this, there's a couple of different ways. Um, one, it, it really starts with knowing your market. Really, really knowing your market. Not like knowing, oh, my market is 25 to 55 year old males who are interested in such and such. No, that's, that's given. Everybody should know at least that of their market. I mean knowing the emotions behind their purchases. I mean knowing what car they're most likely to drive. How many kids are they most likely to have? What types of things do they believe in? What TV shows do they watch? What books do they read? What software do they use? You really need to know your market and if you do that, you'll sell more, you'll be able to come up with content much easier, you'll just, everything in your business will get easier if you do that preliminary research. Now here's a couple of tricks that I do to get my content ideas. One, the first thing I like to do is, I, I don't like to rethink the wheel, alright, the wheel was already invented. So what I mean by that is, I will go to Google and I'll set up a Google alert for my topic, several different top, uh, different Google alerts, so that every day I'm, I get an email telling me about all the different content that's going on in my market. The next thing that I do is I go and I subscribe to all the top blogs in my market using Feedly.com. And then, whenever I see a good blog post, I'll save that blog post to my Instapaper account. And that's where I usually save like the best ideas for content that I have. And then I like to, inside my Instapaper account, I like to create some favorites, and those give me kind of like formats, you know, like 500 ways to, or the ultimate guide to, like there's these different formats that you can use, and then you think about your topic, so for me, my topic is traffic and conversion, but I know that within traffic and conversion, there's a lot of subtopics with that. So with traffic, there's AdWords, Facebook, SEO, CPV, social media, um, there's free traffic, paid traffic with conversions, there's split testing, there's landing page optimization, there's different tools that they use, there's, there's all these different subtopics within that. So you can then take somebody else who's written a great blog post and has already shown you that this type of blog post it can be very successful, attract a lot of traffic, you then just plug in your topic to it and you use it like a swipe file. So just to recap real quick, set up a Google alert, uh, subscribe to all the top blogs in Feedly, and then drill down your topic to all the different subtopics. Use those three tips as well as knowing your market and then you'll be able to come up with lots and lots of content ideas. Subscribe now.